Today I'll be showing you how to stabilize a selective area using Warp Stabilizer in After Effects. I have my clip imported into After Effects. There's some camera shake I want to remove in this time lapse. If I zoom in to 100%, there's quite a bit of camera shake from the wind. To show you my usual workflow, I'll add a Warp Stabilizer to my clip. It's going to need to analyze the clip, so I'll skip to the next part. The clip has been analyzed. If I zoom in, it's definitely better, but if I pan over to the edge, there's still some wobble. The reason it didn't do a good job is because Warp Stabilizer is tracking the stationary and moving objects. If I go into the advanced settings and make the track points visible, Warp Stabilizer made track points in the clouds and a few in the mountain. It's trying to compensate for the movement of the clouds. That's why there's a bit of rotational wobble on the edges of the frame. To solve this problem, I want Warp Stabilizer to track only the stationary objects and not the moving clouds. To do this, I need to mask out the clouds. I'm going to delete Warp Stabilizer on this clip since I don't need it anymore. Making sure my clip is selected, I'm going to navigate to my Tools panel and select the Pen tool. This tool will allow me to hide specific areas of the clip by making a shape around the area I want to keep visible. All I need to do is click and make anchor points around the mountain to form the area I want Warp Stabilizer to track. I can complete the shape by clicking on my original anchor point. I've just created a mask to hide the clouds and retain the mountain. There's one more step before we can apply Warp Stabilizer. If we applied it now, it would bypass the mask. We need to create a new composition out of this one. All we need to do is navigate to the project panel and select our composition. Click and drag it to the new composition button. This will create a clean slate with all our effects retained from the other composition. Now we can add the warp stabilizer to this clip. With my clip in particular, I need to turn on detailed analysis because the default settings didn't quite do it for me. For this method to work properly, we need to change the stabilized method from subspace warp to position, scale, and rotation only. Subspace warp works by distorting specific areas of the clip, thus causing distortions to show up on the edges. That's one downside to this method, unfortunately. Now that it's been analyzed, I'll zoom in to see the results. The camera shake is gone, and the only thing left is natural distortions caused by the light distorting through the atmosphere. The final step is to delete the mask. All we need to do is open our original composition and delete the mask from the clip. Open back your other composition and the mask is now gone. In short, all we did is mask out our moving objects, create a new composition from it, apply warp stabilizer with position, scale, and rotation as the method, and delete the mask from our original clip. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful. Don't forget to comment and share. Thanks for watching.